Mm. Next, let's queer up sports. WWE star Cody Rhodes holds up the trans flag to tell the world wrestling is for everyone. Emerging from a renowned wrestling lineage, Cody Rhodes, a prominent star in WWE, advocates for inclusivity in wrestling. During a recent WWE event in Fresno, California, Rhodes received a transgender flag from a fan. Rhodes, a four-time tag team champion, proudly held up the flag for a photo, reflecting his commitment to fostering a welcoming environment in wrestling. The fan who gifted the flag expressed admiration for Rhodes' gesture of goodwill. Rhodes' recent photo with the Progress flag also holds significance on multiple levels. As a prominent figure in wrestling, his endorsement of the LGBTQ community reflects the evolving culture within the sport. In the past, wrestling often relied on discriminatory gimmicks, but attitudes are shifting. Last June, CM Punk, now the with All Elite Wrestling, showed support for LGBTQ plus youth by holding a sign that read, Support LGBTQ plus youth. A supporter of same-sex marriage, Punk displayed the sign in reaction to criticism he faced for endorsing Pretty Cool Ice Cream, a brand that stands up for transgender youth. In AEW, Anthony Bowens is the first openly gay champion. He once shared a photo kissing his partner, YouTuber Michael Pavano, despite anti-gay protesters at a Pride match. During an AWE show last Pride season, fans cheered for Bowens with a supportive chant, quote, He's gay. Another reason why Rhodes' public allyship matters is that the recent WWE show took place in the San Joaquin Valley, which is known for being quite conservative. You know, I love these kinds of stories. I, I love sports stories in general, even though, like, I play some sports, but I don't really watch sports. And I had to say, I know close to nothing about wrestling. I would never... The part of the, the story that surprises me, and I don't know if you all agree, the little about wrestling I know is that, for me, it's always been really gay. Like, I mean, like, it's so yeah. performative, and, like, it's yeah. so, like... In, it's all, Like, they're essentially in drag. And, like... Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> like... <laughs> On top of each other. Right. right. Like the homoeroticism alone. Oh, like, who it's are you always kidding? Been there. Like, there. we might as well just do it in a That's bone the one jello. That's I enjoyed yeah. like, in high school. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it was junior high school. I remember the guy, I'll say, I won't say his name, but I was like, whoa. Every time I had to wrestle, I was like, I'm just better cover myself. You know, at that age, everything excites you. The wind on an open window like, oh. sets you off. And there I am wrestling Kenny. I won't it's, say his last name. It's, it's funny, too, like how wrestling always symbolizes, like, macho-ness. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, this is like... It's super gay. Super gay. It's so gay. It's super like gymnastics gay. in an arena. <laughs> right. They got all, all... Just wrestle each other in a bowl of jello. And like, you're yeah. like, what? Like, I, mean, I, I don't think they do it in jello. That'll be our but... next show when it's just the three of them. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're coming at you. Coming next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 